Hi guys, welcome to Wikibias. In this episode, we will be bringing you a list of famous celebrities who have passed away in the last 24 hours. Most subscribe to this. You can tell in the comment box which one of them you are most saddened by the death of. So let's get started. Beverly Lahaye. The world of conservative activism lost a powerful voice with the passing of Beverly Lahaye at the age of 94. Born Beverly Jean Davenport on April 30, 1929, in Oakland County, Michigan, Lahaye leaves behind a legacy of passionate advocacy for conservative Christian values. While the cause of death remains unknown, her unwavering dedication to her beliefs and her role in shaping the Christian right, will undoubtedly be remembered. Lahaye's journey and activism began seemingly far removed from the national spotlight. A pastor's wife, she initially focused on supporting her husband, Tim Lahaye, in his ministry work. However, the rise of the feminist movement in the 1960s ignited a fire within her. She felt these movements didn't represent the needs of all American women, and believed a more conservative voice was needed. In 1979, Lahey took a bold step. She founded Concerned Women for America, CWA, in San Diego, California. This organization quickly emerged as a powerful force in the conservative movement, advocating for traditional family values, limited government intervention, and a strong national defense. Lahey served as CWA's president for many years, becoming a prominent voice for conservative Christian women across the nation. Beverly Lahaye's legacy is complex. She was a powerful advocate for conservative Christian values, a controversial figure within the national discourse, and a woman who defied expectations. Though the cause of her death remains unknown, her unwavering convictions, her role in shaping the Christian right, and her impact on American politics, will undoubtedly be debated and remembered for years to come. Kyle Marissa Roth. Kyle Marissa Roth, a TikToker known for controversial celebrity blind items who started many of her videos with You Want More? I'll Give You More has died. She died at the age of 36. Kyle's sister, Lindsay, announced the news on Instagram, claiming the content creator died last week. We don't know happened yet, Lindsay wrote. I know she touched so many people with her humor, intelligence, beauty, gossip activism, athleticism and more she had so many gifts. If anyone wants to connect about Kyle, I'm here to talk and share memories. Her mom, Jackie Cohen Roth, also reacted to the news on LinkedIn, writing, My daughter Kyle has passed away. She touched some of your lives personally and some of your lives via her immense life on another platform. Kyle loved and lived fiercely. Nothing makes sense now, and we'll understand more in the next few days, Jackie added. The post has contacted Lindsay and Jackie for comment. Kyle's last TikTok in which she talks about the irony of a cringe Tom Sandoval and Jojo Siwa, both appearing on Fox's Special Forces was posted last week. It currently has over 2 million views. Celebrities and fellow TikTokers quickly paid their tributes to Kyle, after news of her death broke. Uncut Gems star Julia Fox commented on Lindsay's post, writing, I know I never met Kyle in real life, but I really felt like I knew her. I'm so devastated and have been crying ever since the news leaked on TikTok. I really hope she did it suffer, and I hope she knew how much she touched our lives. She was a ray of sunshine, and I will miss her deeply. Beauty Zo, country star Jelly Roll's wife commented on Kyle's last TikTok on, I'm so sad. Lloyd Omdahl, North Dakota politics lost a familiar face with the passing of Lloyd B. Omdahl at the age of 93. Born on January 5, 1931, Omdahl's career spanned decades of public service, culminating in his role as the 34th lieutenant governor of the state. While details surrounding the cause of death haven't been released, his dedication to North Dakota and his commitment to public service, will undoubtedly be remembered. Omdahl's journey in North Dakota politics began long before his time as lieutenant governor. He was a professor of political science at the University of North Dakota, where he likely instilled a passion for civic engagement in countless students. He also served as the state's tax commissioner from 1963 to 1966, demonstrating his early interest in public administration. In 1987, Omdahl's career took a significant turn when he was appointed lieutenant governor, 
following the death of Ruth Myers. He served alongside Governor George Sinner, winning re-election on the Democratic NPL ticket in 1988. This victory marked a significant moment in North Dakota politics, as Ombel became the last Democrat to hold the lieutenant governor position to date. Lloyd Ombel's legacy extends far beyond the walls of the state capitol. He was a professor, a public servant, and a dedicated citizen who left a lasting mark on North Dakota politics. Though the cause of his death remains unknown, his commitment to public service, his thoughtful approach to governing, and his unwavering dedication to his state, will undoubtedly be remembered by his colleagues and the people of North Dakota. Ken Holtzman Ken Holtzman, a lefty pitcher who carved out a space in baseball history, passed away at the age of 78. Born on November 3, 1945, in St. Louis, Missouri, Holtzman's career spanned 15 seasons, from 1965 to 1979. While he played for four teams the Chicago Cubs, Oakland Athletics, Baltimore Orioles, and New York Yankees, his most notable achievements came with the Athletics. During their dynasty years, from 1972 to 1974, Holtzman played a key role in securing three consecutive World Series championships for the team. He even pitched a shutout in the 1974 American League Championship Series. Holtzman's talent wasn't limited to championships. He was a two-time All-Star and holds the record for most wins, 174 by a Jewish pitcher in Major League Baseball history. Notably, he also achieved two no-hitters while pitching for the Chicago Cubs. While the cause of death hasn't been publicly disclosed, baseball fans around the world will remember Ken Holtzman for his impressive pitching skills and his contribution to the golden era of the Oakland Athletics. Steve Sloan. The world of college football lost a legend with the passing of Stephen Charles Sloan. Born on August 19, 1944, Sloan's life, age 79, was a testament to dedication and leadership on and off the gridiron. While details surrounding the cause of death haven't been released, his contributions to the game as a player, coach, and administrator will undoubtedly be remembered. Sloan's football journey began at the University of Alabama, where he played quarterback from 1962 to 1965. He arrived during a golden age for the Crimson Tide, even serving as a backup to the legendary Joe Namath during the 1964 National Championship season. While Sloan's playing career might not have garnered headlines, his time at Alabama instilled in him a deep love for the game and a foundation for future success. Sloan Sloan's coaching odyssey continued with stops at Texas Tech, Ole Miss, and Duke throughout the 1970s and 1980s. He amassed a career win-loss record of 68-86-3, leaving a mark on various college football programs. Beyond coaching, Sloan transitioned into athletic administration later in his career. He served as athletic director at the University of Alabama, the University of Central Florida, and the University of Chattanooga. In these roles, Sloan's leadership and dedication to student-athletes undoubtedly shaped the athletic landscape of these institutions. Stephen Sloan's legacy extends far beyond wins and losses. He was a passionate leader who dedicated his life to football. Though the cause of his death remains unknown, his contributions as a player, coach, and administrator will undoubtedly be remembered by his former teammates, players, colleagues, and fans of college football for generations to come. Willie Limond The Scottish boxing community mourns the loss of Willie Limond, a fierce competitor and champion, who passed away at the young age of 45. Born in Scotland Limond's dedication to the sweet science and his unwavering fighting spirit, left an indelible mark on the sport. While the cause of death remains under investigation, his impressive boxing career and infectious personality will undoubtedly be remembered by fans and fellow fighters alike. Lemon's journey began not in the boxing ring, but on the football pitch. He wasn't afraid to embrace athletic challenges, showcasing his early passion for competition. Details about his football career are limited, but his competitive spirit undoubtedly translated well when he transitioned to boxing. In 1999, Lemon laced up his gloves and embarked on a professional boxing career. 
Over the next two decades, he amassed an impressive record, winning 42 out of his 48 fights. His dedication and talent were evident as he climbed the ranks, collecting prestigious titles along the way. Beyond his impressive record, Lemon was known for his aggressive fighting style and infectious personality. He wasn't just a champion. He was a fan favorite who captivated audiences with his grit and determination. Tributes from fellow boxers and fans alike highlight his positive impact on the sport and the respect he garnered throughout his career. Willie Lemon's sudden passing leaves a void in the Scottish boxing community. Though the cause of death remains under investigation, his impressive championship titles, aggressive fighting style, and infectious spirit will undoubtedly be remembered by boxing enthusiasts and those who had the privilege of witnessing his journey in the ring. Michael C. Jensen The world of finance lost a titan with the passing of American economist Michael Cole Jensen at the age of 84. Born on November 30, 1939, Jensen's contributions to financial economics particularly regarding agency problems within corporations, will undoubtedly be remembered. While details surrounding the cause of death haven't been released, his impactful research and dedication to the field will ensure his lasting legacy. Jensen's journey began with a focus on economics. Though details about his early academic pursuits are limited, his passion for the subject would propel him to become one of the most influential financial economists of all time. His research centered on a critical concept, agency problems within organizations, particularly publicly traded corporations. These problems arise when managers' interests diverge from those of the shareholders they represent. Jensen's groundbreaking work explored these issues, proposing solutions and frameworks for better corporate governance. His research not only impacted academic circles, but also influenced real-world practices, shaping how corporations operate and are structured. Michael Cole Jensen's legacy extends far beyond academic journals and corporate boardrooms. He was a visionary economist who shed light on critical issues within organizations. Though the cause of his death remains unknown, his groundbreaking research, editorial influence, and dedication to the field of financial economics, will undoubtedly be remembered by scholars, business professionals, and anyone with an interest in how corporations function. David Rizal The academic world mourns the loss of Dr. David Paul Rizal, a distinguished mathematician and visionary leader who passed away at the age of 84. Born on May 30, 1939, Rizal's journey spanned classrooms, administrative offices, and a lifelong dedication to higher education. While details surrounding the cause of death haven't been released, his leadership at the University of Kentucky and the University of Delaware, coupled with his mathematical contributions, will undoubtedly be remembered. Rizal's academic foundation began with a strong grounding in mathematics. He earned his PhD in the subject from Duke University after graduating from Westchester University. Details about his specific mathematical contributions are limited, but his passion for the subject undoubtedly fueled his academic pursuits. This passion for knowledge translated into a successful career in academia. Rizal served on the faculties of several universities, including the University of Maryland, Louisiana State University, and Virginia Polytechnic and State University. At Virginia Tech, he even held several administrative posts showcasing his potential for leadership beyond the classroom. David Rizal's legacy extends far beyond university campuses. He was a mathematician, an educator, and a visionary leader who left a lasting impact on higher education. Though the cause of his death remains unknown, his dedication to scholarship, his leadership at the University of Kentucky and the University of Delaware, and his unwavering commitment to academic excellence, will undoubtedly be remembered by students, faculty, and colleagues alike. Derek Underwood The cricketing world mourns the passing of a legend, Derek Underwood at the age of 78. Born on December 28, 1945, Underwood's legacy stretches far beyond his impressive statistics. He was a master of left-arm spin, an English hero, and a respected figure within the sport. While details surrounding the cause of death haven't been released, his captivating bowling and dedication to cricket, 
will undoubtedly be remembered by fans and fellow players alike. Underwood's journey began on the English county circuit, honing his skills for Kent. Details about his early cricketing years might be limited, but his talent undoubtedly caught the eye of national selectors. In 1966, he earned his test debut, embarking on a remarkable international career. Underwood's bowling style was a thing of beauty. His left arm spin proved particularly effective on uncovered pitches, which were more common in his era. He possessed exceptional control and a knack for extracting turn and bounce, making him a nightmare for opposing batsmen. Throughout his career, Underwood established himself as one of the best bowlers in test cricket. He amassed an impressive tally of 297 wickets in 86 test matches, a testament to his consistency and skill. His contributions were instrumental in securing victories for England, solidifying his place as a national hero. Beyond statistics, Underwood was known for his sportsmanship and unassuming demeanor. He wasn't just a skilled bowler, he was a respected figure within the cricketing community. This respect culminated in his appointment as president of the prestigious Marylebone Cricket Club, MCC, in 2008 a position that recognizes a player's exceptional contributions to the sport. Derek Underwood's passing leaves a void in the cricketing world. He was a master of spin bowling, an English cricketing legend, and a respected figure who embodied the spirit of the sport. Though the cause of his death remains unknown, his captivating bowling, dedication to the game, and sportsmanship will undoubtedly be remembered by generations of cricket fans and players alike. Noel Ratcliffe. The Australian golfing community mourns the loss of Noel Anthony Ratcliffe, who passed away at the age of 79. While details surrounding the cause of death haven't been released, Ratcliffe's dedication to the sport and his impressive career will undoubtedly be remembered by fellow golfers and fans alike. Born on January 17, 1945, Ratcliffe's passion for golf blossomed early on. Details about his amateur career might be limited, but his talent and determination undoubtedly propelled him towards professional ranks. Ratcliffe carved a successful path in the world of professional golf. While specific details about his victories and achievements might be limited, his eight tournament wins stand as a testament to his skill and perseverance. He likely competed on prominent Australian tours, battling against other talented golfers and thrilling audiences with his precision and sportsmanship. Beyond his competitive achievements, Ratcliffe's legacy extends to the impact he had on the sport itself. He might have served as a mentor to aspiring golfers, sharing his knowledge and passion for the game. Perhaps he was actively involved in local clubs or tournaments, fostering a love for golf within the community. Regardless of the specifics, Noel Ratcliffe's dedication to golf is undeniable. His eight professional wins highlight his prowess on the course, while his contributions beyond competition likely left a lasting impact on the sport he loved. Though the cause of his death remains unknown, his golfing achievements and his passion for the game will undoubtedly be remembered by the Australian golfing community and fans around the world.